Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number five, amid peace talks, Russia has attacked Ukraine's former capital, Kharkiv. At least 11 civilians were killed in Russian shelling on Ukraine's second most populated city on Monday. The regional governor, Oleg Sinegubov, disclosed this via telegram, adding that dozens more had been injured. He wrote, the Russian enemy is bombing residential areas. As a result of the bombardments that are ongoing, we cannot call on the emergency services. Currently, there are 11 dead and dozens wounded. At number four, Ukraine's government has raised cryptocurrency worth over $13 million in a global appeal for fundraising to use in repelling Russia's invasion of the country. On Saturday, Ukraine had posted appeals on social media for donations of Bitcoin and other digital tokens. Ukraine's Vice Prime Minister, Mykhailo Fedorov, who doubles as the Minister of Digital Transformation, tweeted the wallet addresses. As of 8.50 a.m. on Monday, the wallet addresses had received crypto worth $12.8 million across almost 17,300 donations. At number three, the United States has asked Americans in Russia to leave immediately following the invasion of Ukraine. In a statement on Monday, the U.S. State Department said U.S. citizens should consider departing Russia immediately via commercial options still available. The department warned that options for getting out of Russia are dwindling quickly as international sanctions bite, including many countries having closed their airspace to Russian carriers. It also warned of potential for harassment against U.S. citizens by Russian government security officials. At number two, the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board says the 2022 Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination Mock Examination will now hold on April 9th and not April 16th as earlier scheduled. JAMB announced this in its weekly bulletin of the Office of the Registrar on Monday in Abuja. It said that the change was due to the realization that April 16th, earlier scheduled, was an Easter Saturday, a holy Saturday celebrated by Christians to mark the end of the Lent period before Easter Sunday. At number one, Russia has banned flights by airlines from 36 countries, including Britain and Germany. The ban was announced on Monday following similar sanctions on flights from Russia by the European Union. Russian airlines are now unable to enter the airspace of the vast majority of European countries, as well as Canada and vice versa. Russia's civil aviation authority said it was bringing in the restrictions as a retaliatory measure for the ban by European states on flights by civil aviation operated by Russian airlines or registered in Russia. Always remember to wear your mask, wash your hands and stay safe. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.